right, my friends, welcome back. If you've been paying attention, we've been doing 30 80s metal riffs in 30 days, a brand new series here on this channel. And I'm up to day number eight now. This is the 8th of April. We're doing 30 riffs for each day of the month of April 2023. So I'm trying to stay caffeinated so I can stay on top of all this because, frankly, it is a lot of work. But I will say this. It's a lot of fun, too. And I've been getting a lot of great comments from you guys. So thanks for those. That keeps me going. This is a labor of love. These are some awesome riffs. I'm sharing what I know. Hopefully you'll learn something. Most of all, hope, hope you have fun with this. Today, we're at day number eight, and we're taking a look at Crimson Glory. Great band out of Florida that sadly is no more. The singer Midnight passed away several years ago. Uh, also, some of you may or may not know that Todd Latore, who now is the lead singer for Queensryche, uh, saying uh, after Midnight passed, he was in Crimson Glory for some time, and it would take someone with Todd's range and power to pull that off because Midnight was absolutely amazing. But the guitar players were great too. And so this riff uh, is from the Transcendence album, which I think was 1989. Um, and this is called Lady of Winter. So. Again, we're tuned down a half step to E flat. A lot of these riffs are tuned down a half step that we've been doing. There'll be a fair amount that are in standard tuning as well, but uh, lately there's just been a lot of half step down, which was very common back in the 80s and probably even today, but especially bands like Van Halen and Dawkins and bands like that, all and Rat, they all tuned down a half step. So. Uh, anyway, so we're going to take a look at this in just a second. Make sure and grab the tab down below in the description box, as well as my free sweet picking guide, Sweet Picking Boot Camp. So, this riffs in the key of A, and it's got a harmony part, which I'll show you in a second. But the main riff uh, goes like it's pedaling off of the, the A string, and the notes that it comes down on are 10 on the D. 9 on the D, 7, 5, and then 5 back up to 7. And the pattern is this. Notice that A string going on. And there's a bit of a pick harmonic attack as well. Pinch harmonic if you'd rather. I always think of it as pick harmonic because you're actually, it's the pick that's making the sound, the pick in the edge of the thumb. So hopefully you can see I'm going. Nine, uh, 10, I'm sorry, on the D. 9 on the D, and then I'm going to repeat 9. Seven. Five. Five back up to 7. To there. And then here comes the fill. So the fill comes in after you play the seventh fret on the D string. Then we're going to play. And that 7 5. Um, on the G, 7, 5 on the D, open A string, and then 8th fret on the D and G. So... Okay, and then we're going to repeat that whole cycle. 
So let me do the whole thing now. And we're gonna, I'm going to play it once, and then I'm going to repeat it, and then there'll be one more part after that. But here we go. <laughs> Oops. So that's just the same thing twice. Make sure you follow the tab on that. Now the last time it uh, does a slightly different ending. <laughs> what one guitar is doing. So I'm going to play an extra open A string so it adds a beat to the riff so it kind of throws throws it off a little bit which sounds really cool right before they go into the verse. And that's all. It's the same thing otherwise. Now on the um, on the second guitar it's very clear what the harmony is. It's the thirds harmony. The fills are a little hard to tell if they're harmony fills or if he's just doubling the other guitar. I tried to find some live footage and it's really, the stuff that I found was really um, hard to decipher just in terms of the quality of the video and the audio. Uh, so here's basically what's going on. Um, the second guitar starts by just playing an A5 power chord and then sliding that off and then it goes and then so from A to G and then it comes in on the fill and then it's in full and what's going on he's playing the, the, the third harmony of so if this is the main line, here's the harmony. Okay. And so um, we're going to play that on, all on the G string and with the A uh, pedaling. So. that same fill. So the notes are 9, 7, repeat 7, 5, 4, 5. Like so. And the fills come in in the same place. So let me play through that um, beginning with the A5 power chord just like it is on the album. Okay, here we go. This one I'm ending it a little different. I'm going five, uh, seven five on the D, seven five on the A, and then two open strings. And I think this is an overdub. Uh, you'll want to end it on a B flat. But this is the note you hear on the album. If you can get there, with some heavy whammy bar action, if you want that note, it's, um, a, I'm sorry, it's an A sharp, not an A flat. It's a uh, 16th fret, on the, I'm sorry, uh, 18th fret on the high E string. Or you could play, um, try to get the harmonic play this at the 8th fret on the D string and just try to get a harmonic which is roughly the same note and that may actually be what he did on the album in any case um, that's the whole riff 
put if you put those two things together, you get the, all the guitar parts on the riff, and it's just an amazingly great song and guitar riff from an amazingly great album. If you haven't heard Transcendence by Crimson Glory, go buy it right now or stream it or whatever you whatever you do, however you get, you get your music. Listen to the whole album; it's brilliant. Great stuff on it, especially if you're into classic metal from the USA. Great stuff, guys. All right, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for another riff tomorrow. I'll see you then. Rock on. <laughs> Thank you.